So what I plan on doing today is I'm going to just give you a brief summary of the system and the types of data outputs that we have. And then I'll follow that with the exciting new integration with the gym suite um, from Acquire and how that works and what it looks like and how that helps everyone to more effectively use these massive data sets. Um, they're not massive in terms of large size, but massive in terms of a lot of point data and being able to bring that in quickly and easily, as well as um, our quite large imaging data sets that the, um, that the new integration handles quite nicely. So <clears throat> the whole idea behind doing hyperspectral core logging is that we are bringing a consistency and an accuracy to core logging finally. Um, it isn't that we're, we're not replacing geologists, we're augmenting the geologists. So we're giving them the tools to be able to do better mapping more quickly and more consistently. And so the system you actually see here um, comes in a containerized version here and we come to your site or to your core shed or your pit and we do the logging, the automated logging. And what comes out of that is a, a lot of really beautiful imagery. So you get to see all of, the, all of the minerals and how they are distributed as well as point data. But then we take all of that imagery and we export it out as downhole percentage uh, mineralogy. These are small data files in terms of size. But we're talking about um, data sizes somewhere around, for a typical project, say about 8,000 meters of core. We're talking about 2 billion data points that you have to bring in and handle. Um, we do a certain level of integration with that, of, of visualization. But we're not in the business of trying to help you then analyze that information. And that's where the Acquire Gym Suite comes in. So this is what this system looks like, just to give you a few images of what it is that we're talking about here. Um, this is the actual lab uh, inside, and so this is the instrument that's actually doing the scanning. And then this is what it looks like on the outside. And we're doing three different measurements. So there's three different sets of data that can be pulled in to the gym suite. Um, one is photography, one is the hyperspectral data itself, which is where we get the mineralogy, and one is laser profiling data. So that's where we get the geotechnical information from. Um, you can see up here, we have very high resolution. So our photography is at 50 micron, our hyperspectral data is at 500 micron, and our laser profile has about a 20 micron vertical. So that should kind of give you a feeling of why our imagery is so large. But I'm going to show you that um, the way that we export the data uh, compresses that, and then the way that the interconnectivity between coreshed.com, which is our visualization, and Acquire, and the gym suite helps to really manage that data size and be able to for you to seamlessly look at your data quickly. Our, we have uh, quite high scan rates, and I just put that so that you can also see that we are generating, again, quite a large amount of data. Um, that what I'm about to show you uh, helps you to integrate that. Now, as I mentioned, we are taking the imagery. So this is just a quick snapshot of the type of data that we're producing with the core scan system. So you're looking at uh, photography here. So again, this 50 micron photography. You're looking at then a classification image, which shows all of the minerals that were identified in this particular uh, small portion of core. And then for every mineral that we identify, we're producing a match image, we call them. So this is just sericite in this case, which corresponds to these blue colors. Now for every single image that we're showing you here, we export these as just simple JP2 files. So they're lossless uh, compression that we use. <clears throat> they're not that large. But they're still large enough that um, it, th the way that the Acquire integration, the way that the gym um, integration has been done, you're able to very quickly stream this information and bring this straight into the Acquire database, which I'm about to show you. Now, these images here, which are the individual minerals that we're mapping, we actually export these out as point data, very simple point data. We're essentially point counting. We're looking at, for instance, a meter of core. And we're counting how many of those pixels. There's about 200,000 pixels per meter of core. So it's 200,000 spectral signatures that we're collecting and analyzing. And we're taking that and we're counting how many of those pixels are, in this case, sericite. And we're, ta we're tabulating that over the meter of core, dividing out and getting a percentage. And that information is what is then going in to these, these sim very simple CSV files. And so that data, along with the imagery, can be pulled into the Acquire Gym Suite very easily. We, the, the interface that this occurs at, so there's the Acquire Gym Suite, but then there is coreshed.com. 
So for our clients, we serve all of the data visually and as point data on Corsha.com. So this is our visualization. You can access this from anywhere in the world. You have a username and password that links to your data that you have had scanned, your core. And we provide a way to look at it visually, whether it's the core photography, um, your mineral maps, each individual identified mineral. And then we, again, as I mentioned, for each mineral, we compute a downhole CSV file. So you actually have a mineral percentage. So in this case, we're looking at percentage Montmorillonite downhole. And over here, we're looking at um, <clears throat> Uh, the wavelength, actually, of the Montmorillonite, which I won't get into, but we can actually do chemistry as well of various mineralogies. So you're actually looking at a, a chemistry plot there. And then this is some of our laser data. Here's just a blown up image, so you can actually see what that looks like. Um, this actually is core from Yellowstone Caldera. This is a project we just did with the USGS. Um, and you're looking at the, just the distribution of alunite on top of that core. So here's core shed. So what I'm going to be talking about and, and what Acquire has helped us to do is to be able to take this imagery data, which is great to be able to look at and to access, but to then to actually bring it in to a database system so that you can actually start to do analysis of this and synthesis with this with your other data sets. Um, just to show you what the basis of this data is, for every pixel, remember I said there was a couple hundred thousand pixels per meter, each pixel has unique spectral signature associated with it. And that spectral signature, for instance, in these, these orange pixels that we're seeing here, is the mineral actinolite. And I'm just showing this so that you see that the, the, the scientific basis behind this, if you will, is that spectral signature. So while we're in the background processing all of this and identifying all of this mineralogy, um, that point data is then what is getting brought straight into your acquired databases. So, <clears throat> There are two pieces um, in terms of how we have seen with our clients Acquire is getting used in conjunction with the core shed and with core scan data. The first one I'll mention in a little bit of detail is this image that you see up here on top. This was uh, a project that we did last year with Barrick at their Alturas project. Um, you can actually see some of their core over in the core shack right now that was scanned with this technology. And we actually brought one of our labs on site to their core shed while they were drilling. And what we were doing was we were actually uh, scanning the core pretty much directly out of the hole. And within about five hours, we had full mineralogy and full mineral maps that could be the out, then be overlaid on the photography. And it was in the hands of the core loggers within about five hours, and they were logging. Overnight, all of that point data that I showed you was streaming down into their head offices in Santiago. And they were able to then look at all of this data within 24 hours in the acquire interface. And this is another example just showing you down here. This is another project in Australia, an on-site, where um, all of the information was being used in a very rapid way by the core loggers and actually logging on-site with the derived mineralogy. This is uh, just one more slide of just uh, as far as we take it um, in terms of on-site and, and what the core loggers are using. So what you're seeing here is again uh, a project, you see the photography, and sitting on top of this is uh, white mica or sericite sitting on top, um, where it's red, it's a really pure, very good match to white mica, where it's blue, there's a little bit less, and where there is nothing mapped, then there is no white mica. We've overlaid the assay here, for instance, in, in this case, this is the silver assay, and so what you're looking at here is, an, is the interface that the core logger is actually using. The other aspect is we do uh, try to give multiple ways of visualizing this on the way towards the database. And uh, this is uh, actually on display here at this convention as well, over in the Aussie Pavilion. You can come take a look. This is our core table. And it allows you to actually, it's all touch sensitive. So again, we, <clears throat> we visualized this particular thing, this particular product is sitting in the headquarters so that every night or every morning when they come in, um, the users can actually come in and see everything that was drilled or scanned the day before, and you have immediate access to it. Now, the next step, of course, it's really great to have all these beautiful images, and, and you can see all of these relationships, the paragenetic relationships and assemblages and all of that. But in order to start building out your geological model and being able to understand this data, you have to have a way to analyze, and you have to have a way to synthesize it. And that's where the gym suite comes in. So we have all of this beautiful imagery that comes out. We, we then reduce it all to point data. 
And then that point data is then going directly into the gym suite. This is just the front uh, interface to CoreShed. So the core imagery products that are stored on CoreShed, so it's not just the point data, but what's exciting about it is that you can actually, there has been an integration that has uh, been built in from CoreShed to the Acquire Gym Suite databases, and you can actually view all of our really high resolution photography straight from the Acquire, uh, straight from the Acquire database. Um, there's basically, a, and I'm going to show you some quick snapshots um, of, of how that actually happens. But that way, you are able to then look at all of our products directly in relation to everything else that you already have in your database. So it makes everything very simple. Um, we've optimized this link so that you have, uh, it, it's designed for low bandwidth. Oftentimes, where we're operating, we've brought a lab to your pit or to your remote core shed. So we, we, we can't always rely on fast speeds, on fast internet speeds. So that's another thing that we've worked together with Acquire to do is to really optimize for the lower bandwidth. Let's get through this. Um, so again, we start out with the core shed, with the imagery in the core shed. And then here you're looking at an interface here. So you can see that we, in, in, the, in the gym suite here, we can bring in the photography. So here's the photography. What you're looking at here is actually a classification map from our data, from the core scan data. And then coming in right here, we actually see some client data. So this was some dip data that was brought in. So we can bring in photography. Um, and you see down here, this is actually the interface. So you can see it's this core shed here. You can select different drill holes. You can decide what you want to load, whether it's the photography, the hyperspectral data, which is all the mineralogy, the laser data. Um, you can decide how you want to look at it. I'm going to show you a few examples of what this looks like. So when you choose the product, not only does the photography come up, but now you can choose all of the different minerals that you might want to look at, including things like chemistry. So we've got a whole suite of alunite chemistry images here. So you can select from all of these and bring each of those images in. This allows you to then not only bring in the core scan data, the photography, this is some of our geotech data, um, and some of the other uh, mineral classification images, but then you can also, of course, which is what we all want to do this for, is then bring in all of your other information. You've got some MAGSES data, here's some gold assay, here's the previously logged lithology. We can also look at this in multiple ways. Um, Though many people might feel more comfortable looking at it in a downhole environment, so you're actually looking at it as an original vertical borehole. We also give you the option to look at it in a core tray view. So what you're seeing here is downhole. Um, each core tray, we're just stacking the core trays on top of one another. We call this stack section view. And so downhole, you're able to look at far uh, bigger patterns and alteration, as well as how that then relates to larger geological models. So, um, here's lithology, and here again is the gold assay. And then finally, if I, if I zoom out a bit here again, here's um, the rock type, the lithology that was done. You have our stack section mode, the mapping. Here's some, ass here's some assay over here. These are our percentages, for instance, of chlorite that was derived from the core scan data. And you can then start to make... Um, you can then start to synthesize this data and start making connections between what you see in the alteration versus what you know is the lithology or what's, or what's down hole. So it really takes it from us giving you, like I said, we have about 2 billion data points for an 8,000 meter survey to being able to take it down, reduce it, and put it into a geological model and be able to access it all in one spot. And then finally, of course, the end game of all of this is also to be able to bring all of that information um, and bring it into 3D modeling space. And uh, all of the people that, all of the software work, uh, providers that we work with all have um, beautiful integrations with the Acquire Gym Suite. And so everybody is able to use, to start from that basis of Acquire, but then tunnel into their various 3D modeling programs and be able to then visualize our data in the full 3D that it was meant to be seen in. And that is the integration.